Our next guest, uh, this is going to be great. He's a talented young comedian uh, from South Africa. And you can see uh, this man in his off-Broadway show entitled Born a Crime, Wednesdays through Saturdays at 45 Bleecker right here in New York City. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Trevor Noah. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening. Or not. <laughs> I've learned you shouldn't waste your time greeting people in New York. Uh, this is not what people do. Even your crazy people don't want to be bothered. <laughs> I was walking on Broadway the other day, and there was a man walking down the street shouting at the top of his lungs, ask anybody the red American history 101. I hate President Obama. Ask me why. And I said, why? And he was like, what? <laughs> and he looked at me like I was crazy for talking to him. <laughs> it's different. This is uh, my first time in New York, and I'm loving it. It's a, it's a different place. I, uh... Oh, thank you. Thank you. I was so happy when I got here, and I saw people that looked like they were from South Africa. I felt at home. I greeted them in the streets, like, hey, San Bonani. And they were like, hey, que paso? Que malo que de paisanos? Que lo que los... Se de favalo que los... Whoa, 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 no, no. I didn't know this, but apparently I'm Mexican. Um... <laughs> I never knew this because we don't have Mexicans in Africa. They never came over. So this is new to me, you know? This is, this is different. I have people coming up to me, just speaking to me in Spanish, randomly, just out of the blue. Hey, que paisano, que paso, eh? Que la loguero de sino, que talo, que la lo... I'm like, oh, senor, senora, mi, mi no hablo español. Say, what? <laughs> you don't speak Spanish? So, no, not a word. Like, hey, you should be ashamed of yourself, man. <laughs> That's your culture, papi. That's who you are. You don't forget it because you're here. I said, oh, no, I, I didn't forget it. I'm, I'm from South Africa. Like, you sure? <laughs> yeah, I, I think so. I'm, yeah, South Africa, I'm sure. Like, hey, you don't look like you're from Africa, you know? I said, what? What the hell is that supposed to mean? <laughs> He's like, hey, you look like you grew up in the shade, man. <laughs> yeah. Africa is not a color. It's a place. I hate it when people treat me like that. I do some shows where they bring me out like this, and there's comedians coming from Africa. They make it sound like a guy in leopard skin is gonna come running on the stage. <laughs> and be like, Gimbawe, la kala wa la yo. <laughs> Let me tell you monkey jokes, huh? <laughs> and it's not like that. I mean, I do have good monkey jokes, but that's not the point. That's not mm -hmm. what I'm saying. Uh, <laughs> I'm learning slowly. I'm learning Spanish now. If not, why not? You know, I... <laughs> I'm used to learning languages. I speak six languages from South Africa. I, uh, funny enough, I never learned my parents' languages growing up, and I've started learning those now. Uh, my mother's language is Tosa. That's uh, the language of the cliques. And uh, my father's Swiss German, and I never learned German. So I'm learning both for different reasons. Uh, Tosa, I'm learning because, I mean, Tosa, Tosa, hello, I mean, why would you not want to speak a language with cliques? Tosa. I mean, like, listen to that. <laughs> it's magic. It sounds like Chinese New Year in your mouth. It's just popping, you know? <laughs> Even as a child, I loved it. My mom would come in the house and find me doing something naughty, like drawing on the wall, and she'd be like, and I was like, yeah! 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 And she'd be like, boom, 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 boom. Like, ah! Not as advertised. It's, <laughs> it's a fun language. And then German I'm learning for different reasons. German I'm learning uh, to connect with my father. You know, he loves me, but I don't feel that he respects me. Uh, I think this is partly because of my job. As a comedian, I don't think I rank that high in the world of German anythings. Um, <laughs> this comes across in the small conversations. One day we're having lunch. He looks at me and he says, so Trevi, what do you do now? You got a job, eh? You work, you got a job. I said, yeah, Dad, I'm a stand-up comedian. He's like, oh, yeah, yeah. So the, the, the clown, eh? <laughs> so, no, no. It's the language. I feel like German is more powerful. I'll get to his house and he'll greet me like, ah, clown boy! <laughs> And I'll be like, Guten Tag, Vater. <laughs> it's epic, you know? So, so I've been learning, and I've gotten really good. Uh, the key to learning any language is just to be confident. That's the key. Not too confident, though, I learned uh, when I went to Germany for the first time. Uh, I was in a, one of those takeaway places where you make your own sandwiches. And I walked in, and the woman was very nice to me. She's like, Guten Tag, kann ich Ihnen helfen? And I looked at her, and I said, Confidence, Trevor. Guten Tag! Ich will ein klein Brotchen haben, bitte schön! Das schwarze Brotchen mit der Käse und der Schinken, bitte schön! Und gib für mich auch die Salami! 
und ein Pepsi-Cola trinken, bitte! And I'll, uh, I'll never forget, she looked at me and she said, oh, the Schwarze Hitler! <laughs> Which means the Black Hitler. <laughs> at least she didn't say I was Mexican. <laughs> you guys have been fantastic. Thanks for having me. Thank you for being here. Trevor Noah, ladies and gentlemen. Good to see you. Great job. <laughs>